Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK, the channel that's all about hiking, backpacking and wild camping. Today I'm doing a full backpacking gear loadout for you. This is my fast packing setup when I need to travel fast and light, like my recent event, the original Mountain Marathon. Now I'm not that much into ultralight backpacking or even lightweight backpacking. I'm quite happy to take a full load with me. However, there are times when I do need a lighter setup. This weighs under eight kilograms all in, so it's absolutely everything except water. There's an enormous amount of camping gear in here, it's got all my backpacking gear, it's got everything that I need for two days. So what I'm gonna do today, as I'm loading this out, I'm also gonna give you some helpful hints and tips on how to shed weight, plus my hints and tips if I was going for a longer duration too. So let's get cracking. So this is all my backpacking gear in my backpack, excluding water, seven, 0.745 kilograms. So what I'm gonna do, everything included in this backpacking bag, I'm going to list in the description and give the exact weights as well. So you can build up a backpack with backpacking gear just like this one. Right, so this is the Montane Trailblazer 44. It's a 44 litre backpack. It weighs just under one kilogram. So as a starting point, you need a fairly lightweight backpacking bag. So on the outside of the bag, I've got my Innovate waterproofs. So these are tiny little lightweight waterproofs. I've got a lightweight jacket and a lightweight trousers as well. They're fully taped and they're breathable as well. So when you're fast and light, chances are you're gonna get a bit hot and sweaty. You really need waterproofs that are breathable too. In the zip, I've got a neck thingy. I've got a hat and I've got my gloves. This backpacking gear is perfect for three to four seasons. So it's great for this time of the year. If temperatures went to sub zero, I'd probably look at taking some extra warm gear. If it looked like it was gonna rain the whole time, I would change these lightweight waterproofs for full waterproofs. So that's in the front of my backpacking bag. At the side of my backpacking bag, I've got a Life Systems Nano first aid kit. I've got a Life Systems Emergency BFE bag. On the other side, I've got two rubbish bags. And then I've got my trekking poles, my Lecky Makalu trekking poles for my trekking pole tent that is inside this. On the front, I've got my map and compass. These maps are tiny, they're Harvey maps, absolutely superb. Needed this gear for the original mountain marathon. So if you're thinking about doing that event, this loadout would work perfectly with that as well. I've got a right in the rain little pad, which you need for the original mountain marathon and pencil too. So they're quite specific to that event, but it's not a bad thing having them when you're out solo world camping. So food wise, I've got myself coffee. I've got myself a uh, main meal, bolognese. I've got myself a little afters, my chalky pudding. I've got my breakfast from the Fell store, raspberry coconut hemp seed breakfast. So these are lightweight food pouches, but pack quite a lot of calories in them. If I was going for an extremely intensive couple of days, I would want my packet meals with about a thousand calories and probably closer to a thousand for my breakfast as well. I'd either take extra pouches or buy bigger bags basically. So I've got a little sponge, good for wiping condensation off your tent, give yourself a little wash as well. So spare clothes, I've got spare boxes, I've got a spare base layer top. Now when I'm 
going fast and light, I tend to use running tights rather than hiking trousers. So what I would do is take a spare pair of running tights. These will double up as base layer bottoms, which is perfect for sleeping in. So I've got my spare socks, always, always take spare socks. I've got my insulated sleeping pad, my big Agnes Rapid SL. I've got my Rab Micro Light Alpine down jacket. Despite its tiny little size, this is really warm. It's a cracking down jacket, that is. I've got my Durston X Mid One Solid tent. Weighs just under one kilogram. I've got my Sierra Designs Cloud 20 sort of sleeping bag slash quilt. This will take you down below zero. It's so, so nice. I can see why that's award winning. It's absolutely superb. I've got my Nemo Philo pillow. I've got a little microfiber towel. I like to be clean when I'm out and about. I've got my fuel. So just got my 200 or 100 gram canister, I should say. All in all, it weighs about 225 grams. I've got my Soto Windmaster stove in here and I've got the little titanium mug out of my thermostat cook set combo. I've got a couple of milks for my coffee and then I've got a bladder in here with no water. Obviously a litre of water weighs one kilo so bear that in mind when you're deciding how much you want to take. When I'm fast packing, what I'll do, I'll take one litre with me and then if I'm getting higher up, I'll be looking for fresh running water that I can drink straight from. So I'm not having to filter my water. So I've got my Olight Perrin 2 head torch, which is superb. I've got my really Gucci power bank, my Nightcore. This is quite expensive, it's about 50 quid, but it's so light. It's got like carbon fiber casing on it. My iPhone lead on there. I've got my Flextail Tiny Pump 2X, which also doubles up as a lantern. Um, it's really good for inflating. Flatable sleeping mats just means they don't go moldy and it saves your breath. I've got my big spoon for my packet meals. I've got my toothbrush and toothpaste. I've got these tiny, tiny little things from Sea to Summit and Life Systems. These are for like soap or for shampoo. They don't weigh absolutely anything. You just add water, give them a rub, give you a little bit of lava, it just keeps you that little bit fresher. So that's everything in the main bag. Like I say, I've got my reservoir in there. I've got pretty much everything out apart from my snacks now this way includes snacks as well so i've got in here three energy bars which are absolutely superb vela forte I use these for cycling cost a fortune but they are absolutely amazing to die for they are i've got my little recovery shake from talks so i can have that at the end of the evening if i've been working hard during the day i've got a little couple of hydration tabs as well just want to make sure i've got a good level of electrolytes in me so all this gear has got in my 44 litre backpacking bag now if i was going for longer i would need a trowel and some toilet roll let's be honest i would have to have that well i've got a little set all that the other thing i'd obviously need more food but that's the main thing this will see you down to zero degrees uh, without a shadow of a doubt um it's all super comfy gear i mean what i would do as well what i'd be wearing is my lighter weight hiking boots like what i'm wearing today my la sportiva sort of trail running fast hiking boots like I say, I wear running tights if I'm going fast and light, need to get a move on. I will put some little shorts over the top because nobody needs to see that. 
and on top I wear a base layer top with a t-shirt. Now if it's really really cold I'll probably take a fleece as well but apart from that this is it. So this is my backpacking gear loadout for three seasons or four seasons. It's a really good setup so I'm going to list all of this with all the weights. I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in buying any of this but it worked absolutely fantastic for the original mountain marathon. Might make a couple of tweaks for next year, but on the whole, it did really well. So hopefully you like this review. Please check out my other videos. Hope to see you backpacking soon. Cheers.